Hello, it's me, Eli. Um, I'm doing this for uh, drawing uh, a character as requested by uh, Jason Doobie from Scatter Comics. So I decided I'm going to show you how to draw the main character from my graphic novel, Action Land. So, first you want to get some paper. Um, and my art style is pretty simple. I created it to make it uh, easy to replicate. First you want to start off with the head, which is a circle. You want to draw the body, which is uh, a square about twice as long as the circle. Um, I kind of just rough out the legs and arms. The only thing you need to know is that the arm should be longer than the torso, and if you put a bend in the elbow, it should be about mid-torso. And then, you know, there's a bunch of different body types, so you can uh, exaggerate or lengthen as you want. So, now that I have the sketch down, I'm going to ink it. Oh, wait, sorry, I forgot the uh, direction of the face. So, um, simple shapes. The bottom of the jaw is just a half circle, and then Fran's hair is just made out of five squiggles and then a circle for the top and then uh, she has a neck you just connect the top circle to the square torso uh, and uh, I'm gonna have her wearing a jacket so I just get to put a jacket on her uh, bony limbs um, then she has a ponytail which is just a loop and then a zigzag I'm gonna have her doing the peace sign, so let me draw the hand. Sorry, you can't see that uh, very well. But uh, you can do the hand, you connect it to the other arm. It's easy because I'm having her wear a jacket, and I'm probably gonna just color in black. Give her a wrist, and I think I'm gonna give her a, a bag to hold as well. It's a little hard on it. skirt on her and uh, I guess she wouldn't just wear a skirt so I'm gonna give her uh, some pants you bring out the bottom of the leg to make a little foot and I mean uh, I'm not exactly sure what shape that is but uh, just try to make the foot come out in a believable way then I go in with the hair, color in all the black areas with my Expo marker. I try to give a little bit of a shine at the top, so I just kind of color the bottom. Then I color in her jacket. I'm going to just have it be all black, because that's a simpler way to do it. Now that all the basic lines are down, I'm going to go in with my uh, thinner pen and kind of add in some of the details. Because she's an artist, I'm going to have draw written on her shirt. Also, give her some shoes. I'm just going to draw the top of the shoes. Maybe she has slip ons or something. Just some basic lines to give them some dimension or some shape. Give her some eyebrows. She's happy. Fran's eyes are just these kind of uh, half circles. Here are the eyes. The eyes are kind of just these small squares. Then I put a line around the top to give it some type of highlight. Then I draw the pupil of the eye. A shadow around the bottom of the eye. Grant always has three lines on her cheeks for cute reasons. Finish off the pants, add a couple more details here and there. You want to add fingers to the hand. Also, you can add a, a little uh, cross pattern to the purse. 
these seem like it's of some type of material. And uh, I mean that's friend. That's what she looks like when she's not working. So I'm just gonna go in and fill in some of the areas with this black in the hair. I left it a little bit too white at the top. So yeah. Now let's try to draw friend kind of when she's doing her action stuff. So same thing. Start with a circle give her a torso, and then you uh, give her just these lines for legs. Uh, the lines are just there as kind of a guide to kind of show how far out they should be. Should kind of get a basic idea of proportions. And I'm also going to do just a line for her sword. Um, so then you, you start in, start inking. As I said, same thing as before. Uh, half circle for the head. And then she has this little shoulder pad on her shoulder. I can kind of see where the hand, the arm ends, so I'm going to draw a hand there, or a fist, and then draw the uh, rest of the arm. And the thumb, of course. Then draw the bottom of the shirt, and then start with her legs. That's it. I'm just following that line, kind of giving them, you know, a little bit of a thickness, giving her, you know, that shoe shape that I do. This leg's going to be bent, so it just goes to the knee, then bends back in. I start with the hair, and I said one, two, three, one, two, and then the back of the head. And then we're going to give her a ponytail, an action ponytail, so she's going to go straight up, and then uh, give her a fist for her uh, to hold her sword. Draw the hilt of the sword, which is generally then the blade of the sword. And then just use that line to figure out where the sword ends. It's a very simple sword, it's uh, not too complicated. She gets a more complicated one later, but that's what we'll start out with. Then let's color in the hair. So I said I just color in the bottom at first, kind of give her like so she has some highlights on the top of her head. Then I just come in and cut it off to try to add more of a shine. Alright, now that the marker's down, I go in and add some of the details with my uh, pen. So a little bit of dimension. And uh, on the outside outside lines, I try to make them thicker so that they stay consistent with the you know marker lines that I use. Also give Brand her eyes, just eyebrows, and then I set those half circles for the eyes. Give her two eyelashes that she always has, nose, and then I give her those square uh, eyes. The shine, give her pupils, and her three cheek lines, and then she's got like a real pouty face, I guess. Um, she has a collar to her shirt, draw that in, and then also add some details to her uh, shoulder pad. Give some dimension to that hand because right now it just looks like a nub. Also, give her some fingers, uh, four preferably, and then adding some of the details to the pants. Just wearing slacks so they have to be very nicely creased. Uh, some shoe laces and then soles of her shoes. Alright, and then that's uh, an action-y friend. So let's see. Um, I feel like I didn't really give a good example of drawing the face so I'm going to just make uh, three new faces right here. side and then this one's going to push the side as well. Okay, so we'll come back with the marker. So just give it a half circle. Half circle. Half circle. So it's kind of good to have an end goal in mind, but you don't always have to starting out. So let's give her three zigzags for her hair. And her two zigzags for the side and the circle.
can see the kids are fairly consistent. And so it's just the same technique over and over again. Uh, I designed uh, most of my characters to be easily drawn that way. Um, and we give her a ponytail. Let's figure out the different ways to give a ponytail. I like mixing it up. Some up ponytails and some down. It's usually down when you know it's uh, nothing going on. But if there's some big event going on, I usually have it go up. Um, so let's get the pen and uh, ponytails up. So if she's got to be doing something. Let's have her being like super nervous or afraid. Um, so we'll draw this one being happy. Eyebrows uh, up. Um, this one be mad. Yeah, we're pout. She's never like super angry. She, I think she, the angry she gets is like a pout. Happy um, eyes. So just give her circles. Don't forget her two eyelashes. Um, this is a small and worried face, so just give her her big eyes. Don't forget her cheek lines. Three on each cheek. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Uh, and then uh, I'm going to start with the line on this one and then draw the box around it. Um, that's just to help me figure out exactly where I want to put the eyes. They are to the top or bottom. Sometimes they'll start one way, and sometimes they'll start the other. But um, as long as you know, get the general idea. I got our eyelashes. There, and that's friend. The many faces of friend. Oh, yeah, uh, thanks for watching, and um, stay tuned. I know Jason has a lot more tutorials coming up soon so uh, I hope you enjoyed this one and uh, I hope you enjoy the next few as well thank you